I'm here at Goodyear Ballpark. The Indians are taking on the Royals today. It's about 9 a.m. I'm going to walk around the practice field, see if I can find some Reds players. i got Reds gear on right now. And then I think the gates open here at 11.30, so I've got a good two over two hours to kill walking around this place. All right, there's literally nothing going on at this field. No early batting practice or anything. The stadium doesn't open for a while. So I'm going to head way over there off in the distance. You might be able to see it. Those are the practice fields for the Indians and the Reds. Maybe try to catch some minor league batting practice over there. All right, I guess I'm at the Cleveland Indians field. There's the uh, right field foul pole over there. So this is right center. Right behind it, you've got a ditch and a creek. So I'm just gonna go down here and just look around for a little bit. Lots of snake holes and there's stuff moving around down here, but I have not seen a baseball yet. I thought I would see maybe some rotten ones in the water. People must be on it when there's batting practice out here. There's a sign. Beware of flying objects leaving the baseball field. Well, heck. If there are flying objects out here, why aren't there any here now? People got them all. Dang. Well, here's the field access. You're allowed right in there, it looks like. It's pretty cool, I guess, because no wonder there's no balls down there. People probably just stand here, and then when they see a home run go over, they just run back and grab it. Well, behind field two of the Indians uh, minor league complex, the... The ditch that you saw earlier is all dried out. And I'm just down here just seeing if there's any abandoned home run balls that nobody ever noticed. I don't want to find out what lives down in there. So I'm just gonna just continue moving on here. Alright, so we continue on. I'm guessing that the fields off in the distance are gonna be the Reds fields. I finally found some players off in the distance. They're Indians players. Looks like they're on a little half field because you can see like third base is right up against the, uh, the fence out there. I think. All right, here's another field. I'm going to call this field three for the time being because you got the Indians two practice fields over there. And this one's got a giant net out in right field it looks like to protect the, the highway out here. I'm going to go give you a closer look. Players are running onto the field here. Set up for batting practice. This would be sweet if they would actually start taking some BP. There's a guy on a bike with a glove that's going around looking in all the fields, looking for a batting practice session. I'll tell you what, the mountains off in the distance are pretty beautiful. Always been a big fan of mountains. Didn't realize you had so many in Arizona. All right, guys, just found my second ball of the day. It is a ball wedged here. It's a Major League Baseball, and it looks like it was probably a home run that hit in this net, then came down. You can see there's a gap here. So actually, this field wouldn't be too bad for batting practice. You can just stand here, and anything that hits the net is probably gonna come straight down. Now here's a lefty. Almost, I know. I thought that was gone for sure.
bounced over on that, just barely made it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> nice. Ah. Thank you. Did you guys get one yet? Okay, yeah. Whoa, wow. So much work. Where'd that one go? Wow, that's a shot. What a shot! That lefty's killing it! Oh, there's another one! Dude, I just stepped on the ball. I thought that one came out there, but those those girls weren't moving. I guess they didn't see it. Here he is. Here he is, everybody. This guy's got light tower power. This is that lefty. Here it comes. Here it comes, everybody. Here it comes. There you go. Who's that big lefty? See if I can get a number on him. 29, 28, I can't really see that well. He's killing it. Alright, I'm about ready to head over to Goodyear Ballpark. I almost don't want to because it was so fun snagging balls right there. Caught two on the fly, got six. Farthest one was rolling across the highway there, about 500 feet. Um, look at this, guys. If I really wanted to pad my stats, check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. There's thirty three balls in there. Thirty three old baseballs that are that have seen better days that I could pad my stats with, but I'm not gonna do that. I mean, this fence would be so easy for me to hop. I'm six foot four. I don't really want the uh, crappy, busted up baseballs. So I'm gonna head over to Goodyear now. Had some fun here at the uh, minor league camp. You know what, before I go, I'm gonna go to the other side of the highway here and see if any other monster bombs came out. I bet you that there's balls laying around here somewhere out here. I bet you there is. What did I tell you folks? Just out here walking along back to uh, Goodyear Ballpark and boom. Here we go. I feel like this ball's been like burnt to a crisp. It like feels all crispy. Definitely has been out here for a while. Probably was a home run that cleared the left field fence and bounced on the bounced on the street and came over that's how they all right here we are back at goodyear ballpark and gates open in one minute I've got to find my rental car and drop off the baseballs and then get inside all right it's 11 32 and the gates still haven't opened yet so they must be waiting till 11 35. good lord look at the line to get in it goes the whole way around Here's my first look at the field, and there's nothing going on. No batting practice whatsoever. Royals 
aren't taking it, Indians aren't taking it. This was the line to get the bobbleheads. Instead of handing them out at the gate, they give you a voucher and you had to go the whole way along the concourse and pick it up here. Well, I got my bobblehead. Look, check out the packaging. Really went all out with that. It's a Corey Kluber bobblehead. Gonna check it out here in a second. Oh, let's check out the bullpen. Yeah, if there's batting practice here, I could have probably snagged some balls out of here with the claw. I do have the claw with me. The Royals are still walking in. It's like a, an hour before first pitch. So what they probably did was they probably just hit at their spring training facility and just bust on over here, whatever it takes them to get here, 20 minutes or whatever. All the, all the parks are really close here. Here's a look from center field. Apparently you can get back in, they stamp your hand. So I'm gonna head back over to the practice fields and see what's going on over there. Here's a view from right center. I wanna check out that uh, area behind first base. That could be a really good spot for foul balls in about an hour or two. When the game's going on, I might wanna come back. Right, this concourse is a little bit crowded with like booths and chairs and people and umbrellas. Um, usually foul balls don't come down this far. The hot spot's going to be a little bit closer towards the plate. I'm over here at the Reds complex again. The Indians complex is all quiet. And from what I can see, the Reds complex is equally as quiet. Looks like all the uh, morning batting practices have wrapped up everywhere. There's absolutely nothing going on over at the ballpark way over there in the distance. That's why I walked back over here. I did see Danny Salazar uh, getting bussed over to the complex. Um, so the players were just, but they worked out here and then they made their way over. Shoot, I didn't see that. I didn't even see that. I could have caught that one. So there we go. Is that could get one? Oh, they're in the second inning right now. It took me forever to get back to the practice fields. Walking the whole way around that thing. I bet you it's like two miles. If not more. So... Looks like the score is 0-0, zero, zero, so I didn't miss very much. I'm going to end this video right here. I stayed seven innings and then I had to leave because I wanted to check out another spring training complex and I will bring that video to you soon. Thanks for watching.